Hello my fellow gamers, Gamer 64 here, and today I am back with you guys to bring you another mini Let's Play. This time we are going to be going through Alien Monster Bowling League. Now, you would expect this game to be long, but literally you can beat this game in an hour. So, this mini Let's Play may be around three or four parts long. Um, but something unique about this game, I have to somehow bowl with motion control when having a headset on, when monitoring a recording in a very tightly packed room, um, with cords everywhere from my recording software and my, um, headset. So this should be fun. Uh, let's go to single player campaign. Then we will go on this game. Uh, let's see. It doesn't really matter what our name is, but for the sake of easiness, you six four. That'll work. Right, confirm. Uh, difficulty we're gonna keep is normal, regular, and then we get to choose our bowler. So we have the choice of either Max, Regina, John, or Kendra. Um, I think I'm gonna go with Max because I think I remember him being one of the best. If I'm not mistaken. So. Well. Since the dawn of time. There have been a balance between light and dark energies. Yes it's strange for a um, bowling game to have a story. But hey. It's kind of cool. For as long as. Okay. Yeah. I already said that. The dark planet. Whatever that is. Served as the center of dark energy for the universe. <clears throat> it was ruled by the. It was ruled by one known as dark. The one known as the dark queen. Just as there was a dark planet, uh, there was there existed a planet of light energy. In order to maintain peace, the Dark Queen placed her daughter, the something prince. Okay, I can't keep up with this. You guys can pause it if you want to read it. So yeah, I guess it's kind of an in-depth story uh, for a bowling game, of all things. I didn't even know there was a story in this game, so... I guess as a kid, I always just kind of skipped over it or glossed over the fact that there was a story. So apparently an alien monster bowling league decides... Um... I guess the alien mon- oh, okay, I skipped it. Well, I guess that the alien monster bowling league decides who, like, has control over the light and dark energies? I don't know. That's what I'm guessing. So now I have to somehow figure out how I'm going to bowl in this situation that I'm in at the current moment. Now, uh, if you guys take a look real closely, well, I already messed it up, but literally, if you get just a tad bit to the side of that line, you will get a strike every time. So, on the very first stage, I can get all strikes, hopefully, and get a perfect score of 100. You just have to kind of be very precise with it. And look at that, strike every single time, guys. You can do this on all the main, like, normal tracks, but later on, once you get into, like, the alien and monster stages, you will not be able to do this anymore because there's a bunch of different twists and turns and all that different kind of stuff to these different monsters and aliens arenas that it's, for the most part, it's literally impossible to get a strike. That's kind of sucky. Um, depending on if you get strikes and spares and all that kind of stuff, you can build up a bar on the top left uh, to get a superpower. This superpower, power, um, I believe gives you a strike every single time. I think. I don't want to guarantee that, but I'm pretty sure that's what it does. So as you can see, we've got a streak of five going already. All strikes, guys. Uh, this first stage is extremely easy. Uh, you guys should have no problem with this game. Now, this isn't like Wii Bowling. Um, on 
we or we we sports. It's not like we bowling. Uh, you can pretty much tilt the Wii remote at any angle that you want, and the ball will go straight forward depending on where you aimed it. So that is a pretty cool thing, but it also kind of takes away from the immersion of a bowling game because obviously in real bowling you're gonna throw a ball and it's gonna go the way that you threw it. So it's kind of good for those players that aren't really good at Wii bowling, but it's also kind of a downfall for the people that are good at it. So. It's kind of that balance, but this game is extremely good. I really enjoy this game. Uh, I played this game a lot as a kid, and it's just a whole lot of fun. It's a good party game. Like, normally, games like this on the Wii do not have the best rap. Like, just party games in general on the Wii are not good. I mean, there are some that are good. Um, for example, um, Carnival Games... There's Wii Sports Resort, Wii Sports, all those kind of party games. They're good. Uh, this is this is an exception to the rule where normally on uh, Wii, the party games are bad. This is an exception. Alien Monster Bowling League, great, great game to play with your friends, uh, family, all that kind of stuff. There we go. We are almost to a score of 300. Watch me miss this last shot and make a fool of myself. There we go, guys. A perfect score of 300. And then, obviously, if you get a perfect score, you automatically win. The game doesn't even have to do anything. She got pretty close to us, though. She was about a hundred. She was 95 off, to be exact. I almost was stupid in math there. <laughs> well, bowling on my bed when recording is doing pretty darn well actually it's working I've not hit anything yet I have not smoked my computer in the in the jar or anything so we're winning <laughs> and we got a perfect score of 300 on our first game uh depending I can't remember how many stages there are in this game I need to think now this one is a bit harder to line up for all strikes because there's no line in the middle. But as you can see as you can see as you can see, if I can speak English, uh, there are power-ups so you can mess up your opponent. If you collect them, then you can mess them up, obviously. So uh, there's a little bit of strategy there. Uh, I'm gonna see if I can collect this. Oh, cool, perfect. Uh, strike right there. But um <laughs> Each world past the um, first four bowlers will unlock another bowler, which can either be a monster or an alien. Uh, the monsters, in my opinion, are pretty darn cool, as well as the aliens. Uh, the creature design... How do I use my... Okay, I can get a nitro ball. How do I use my... Uh... I don't know how I use my power-ups. I have no idea. There we go, now we got a Nitro Ball. No idea what it does. How do I use the Earthquake? I don't know how to use it. Okay, that's the pause button. Yeah, I have no idea how to use my uh, Earthquake power that I picked. Oh, that's not good. Guys, we do not want a 7-10 split. That is not... Um... Okay. Oh, you push A to activate the power-up. Okay, I gotcha. I gotcha, game. Cool, you got a strike. That's pretty darn good. Well, we're already beating her, like, majorly. So that's good. Dang it, I was waiting for her to bowl. Okay, let's use our super and get a strike. I mean, you can't go wrong with a free strike, right, guys? Right, right? How many of you guys actually bowl, like, in real life? How many of you guys bowl? That's actually very interesting to me, and I want to know. Because <laughs> I actually really enjoy bowling. Every once in a while, I go bowling with colleagues, or colleagues. Co-workers. Why am I saying colleagues? I'm not... I am no one of importance in a business, guys. Trust me. But, uh, yeah, I always go... Well, sometimes I go bowling with co-workers and such. So, that's pretty cool. It's a good time. I have actually won a few times against them, so. One of one coworker I worked with one time was is like well still is 
Uh, he competes in, like, leagues and stuff for bowling, so that's pretty darn cool. He competes on a team and everything in, like, local leagues and everything around Ohio, so that's pretty cool. He doesn't work at my job anymore. He quits after a bit. Oh, no! Oh, crap, that didn't work. I just hit my, um, headset. There we go, let's get, let's pick up that spare at least. There we go. Oh no, am I gonna beat her? I need the super. Oh, we both had the idea to use our super. <laughs> we were both def desperate. So I think the way... Whoa! Wow! Look at that! Holy crap! Where did she get us at? Where did she pull ahead? She pulled ahead right there, guys. Man, that sucks. That does. That's awful. We lost by one. That's depressing. Anyways, I think the way that this mini Let's Play is going to work, I am going... Challenge? Okay. Well, I think the way that this mini Let's Play is going to work, for each part, I'm going to do three or four matches against three or four different um, characters to unlock them. Oh, okay. Um, apparently this is a minigame and you're supposed to shoot down turkeys. I'm pretty sure this unlocks the secret turkey character, if I'm not mistaken, so that's a thing. The turkey character is very hilarious. I'll show off all the characters in, like, an extra, like, multiplayer episode where I play with my brother or something like that. Uh, so don't worry. At the very end of the of the mini Let's Play, I'll show off all the characters and their different abilities and stuff. And the winner is me. There we go. We have won the mini game. Wait, does that move us on to the next... On to the next, um, thing then? I mean, on to the next, like, match. Guess I would like to save my game, of course. It does! Oh, dang! I think... Wait, yeah? I, right? Didn't we already beat Regina? Oh, no, it didn't skip. Never mind. Okay, so... I guess the turkey thing was for... Almost no reason. Alright. No, oh, that wasn't enough power. Well, still got the strike. It doesn't really matter. And we are suddenly going for a huge leak. Um, if you guys would see on the on the right, when she was shooting the pins, sometimes if you're like close to a strike or you were about to get it, or the game just kind of wants to give you a second chance, then they will give you a chance to shoot down the pins so you can get an extra score. Uh, it's kind of useful, but later, well, later on it becomes very useful, but right now it's not really going to help us much. As you can see, I can still get strikes pretty darn well on these normal bowling stages. But, like I said, later on when you get into the monsters and aliens, just bowl. Like, you can't, you literally cannot... In some stages, it's completely impossible to shift your ball and where it goes at all. Like, it's impossible. No matter where you throw that ball, it will go wherever it wants. So... Right now, it does matter about the placement of your ball, but later on, it's not going to matter whatsoever, guys. So if you're not very good at aiming in this game, and if you're playing it along with me, don't worry, you're not always going to hit strikes on the later uh, matches. But we're not even to the later matches yet, so you guys will see what I'm talking about later on once we get there. You know, let's see if I can get a perfect score of 300 on this one, too. I wonder if I can. I wonder if I can do it. I should be able to, as long as she doesn't use, like, an earthquake on me or something. There we go. Let's mess up her shot. Hopefully she doesn't decide to do the same to me, actually. I probably shouldn't have used that earthquake, to be completely honest. She might get upset. Oh, uh, she decided to use it. Will it go away? I doubt it. 
Oh man. Messed up our strikes. How dare you? Whoa. The earthquake is still going on. Darn it, Regina. Aha! How's it feel to get your ball messed up? Well, we're still winning. Oh, here we go. Tilt. Uh, shoot the pins as fast as possible to knock them down. And you get a strike. Just like that. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. Oh! Still a strike with the earthquake pounding down on this very location. And there we go. We use the super to finish it off. And we get a strike yet again with almost a perfect score. We were extremely, extremely, extremely close. And that time we won. We kicked her butt, guys. We were about 44 off from a perfect score, if I did my math right. Hopefully I did my math right. Oh yeah, ball split. Nice. Uh, steal. See, some of these I don't know what they do. Well, most of them I don't know what they do. Alright, so I think we're gonna play one more match against, uh, the Sarge guy. I do not know his name. I wish I did. But yeah, I don't know his name. Let's see if we can get all strikes on him. This one's gonna be harder because there's all those power-ups that are available now. There we go! First strike of the round, and it was awesome. Why does he have so much more in his super bar already? Okay, so... I gotta steal. I don't know what that does. Oh! I can steal his, like, super bar thing! Oh dang, that's pretty darn cool, actually. Ah, you're gonna mess up my strike, bro! No! My strike! Why? Alright, let's try right there. Let's see how that does. Almost everything. Uh, that's alright. We can recover. I mean, unless he messes us up, I'm gonna get a strike on every single one of them, so. Yeah, see? Pins better come down. There we go. Wait, where'd my superpower go? Eh, oh well. Trying to line it up. There we go. It wasn't lining up properly. That earthquake helped him get a strike. I am kind of sad about that. There we go. See, I don't even worry about the power-ups. Honestly, guys, if I were you, I wouldn't worry about the power-ups because... Sure, they can help you. It is possible. But it's not really worth trying to get them to help you, you know? I mean, most of the time, it's not worth it to go for them. Just try to go for the strikes. Yeah, just use my method to go for the strikes. Always just be a hair to the right or left. I find it easier to go to the right, personally, because I can kind of judge it easier. He keeps stealing our power meters and kind of bugging me. But we're getting legit strikes. He's not, so I don't really care. It's fine. There we go. Use an earthquake on that. Mess his score up so we can get ahead of him. We're very close to a perfect score. That's for darn sure. I was going to say, there's no way that he can knock that down. There's no possible way. He doesn't have enough time in the time limit. He's going to hit that one, though. That's a spare. Alright, that's fine. No biggie. There we go. Whoa, that was weird. Okay. That one, like, hewed off to the side for some odd reason. Well, that was stupid. <laughs> um, I actually did not mean to do that. Oh, no. Did that just put him in the lead? Yes! Alright, cool, we still won. I thought that that put us behind and we lost. That was scary. Alright guys, so real quick, we are going to take a look at our next opponent, but then, sadly, it will be the end of the episode. Let's save the game as normal.
Click that continue button. And then on Earth, we are going to the graveyard. Let's take a look at our next opponent. And today, we seem to be fighting, well, bowling against a zombie. So guys, if you are excited for the next part of Alien Monster Bowling League, then please be sure to leave a giant like. And remember to keep on gaming, stay amazing, and I will see you guys next time.